What was this? Who like this? Ancient Japanese slappy slappy fight day. These massive units have a lot of power. Chat, I'm not the watchers, right? Because it's it's sumo, right? Yo! You couldn't have streamed. I'm allowed, right? When I beat you at chess frown. Okay. They can also move with a nimble ninja prowess. Oi, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You Charge bam! Hopefully the aim is to hustle and bustle your opponent today. out of the ring. Might. If any part of their body touches the ground within the ring, they're fucked too. Yeah, nah, me fave sumo is Yokozuna Hakyoho. There he is. Cheeky grin. He knows how to shovey shove and slappy slap. Hey, ah, slam! Green belt is giving purple a major wedgie. They push on each other's jiggly tummies. Purple then tries to fucking hurl green out but green keeps his balance he bulldozes purple back purple hits the brakes they're Shit. engaged in a nah fuck you nah fuck you nah fuck you battle of the wedgies green uses purple's beer gut against him and apollo 13s him out of the ring crikey they tumble Crikey. into the front row which seems like a common occurrence in sumo wrestling that was yokozuna again by the way fists down wham big blue rebounded off little blue slappy push meaty hug little blue is searching for an inside underarm wedgie it, he got it so big strong. blue breaks it he then yells tank mode activated little blue is fucked no little blue chucked a spready and executed a throw he's got the flexibility of a pole dancer the power of spreadies is irrepressible. Oh, no. Actually, he overdid it. Yeah, he looks stuck. He wanted to do a temporary spready. Unfortunately, it became a permanent spready. The bloody <laughs> dreaded perma spread. Fists down. Go. Slappy, 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 slappy. Big guy down. Fuck me. Did he just go for a knockout? That was like using E Honda in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. A thousand arms Wait, coming at you. Me. I basically watched MMA with wedgies. This is a classic from the Why vault, and loud. boom, mountains collide, standard wedgie, a it's reciprocal loud. wedgie, shoulder throw, push back, purple tries a leg sweep, no go, both of them are ass <laughs> over tits. That was a break dance double slam, they even knocked out the bloody ref, he tumbled into the VIP section, they're bringing in the VAR team, like the World Cup, no one knows who won, so better have a rematch, they're right into it with a quick game of chasey around the ring, the ref's down again, fuck's sake. Purple goes for the push, blue counters, nah, the only winner is the referee for not getting crushed. That is a monster wedgie. Sheilas get loads of likes on Instagram with wedgies like that. Oh, what have we here? It's turned into dirty dancing. Johnny is lifting up baby. That's graceful shit. And the fight ends with a little push. It's the simple moves in sumo that can get you the win. Squatting, fists down, purple goes for the penis. Blue says, no way! There's not much tolerance for the old flat sack fondle in this sport. Blue can handle it. He recalibrates the family jewels. No worries. Time for a bit more Yokozuna Hakyo. Oh, huge slappy slap. He's fair dinkum, fast and strategic. See it in slow-mo. He sneaks those big ass slaps right in there, spins you around before you know it, then charges you oh, out jealous. of the ring. Let's have a gander at some American wedgies. See what moves they do. Oh yeah, there's the dirty dancing as well. They bloody love body slamming in the US. They love a body slam. Somehow sumo wrestling feels like it defies physics. I don't understand the science of how these big units can do what they do, but it's entertaining as hell. My Respect God. to the athletes, I reckon. Guys, guys, this is sports, okay? It's not, it's not TOS, yo. Okay? The, the, real, the real sports, yo. You know? This is a good video. Welcome to Canada, which looks like it's more fun We're than going to fucking Disneyland are... right now. Have a look at this taxi. He's getting excited and he does some bloody drifting. Vin Diesel, eat your heart out. Now here comes a tradesman. He's like, what's the problem? Anyone need me to draft an overpriced quote? And bam, he butt fucks the bus. Sensational. Holy yeah, that's shit, Montreal, balls, right? there's another bus. This has turned into a sequel to the movie Speed. Pop quiz dickhead. Check. If this the bus pretty goes often, above actually. 50, the bomb is armed. If it drops below, it explodes. What do you do? You smash into the fucking tradie. He looks Jesus. like he's got a wiggle free, and he does. Big win for the tradie. Meanwhile, Disney presents pigs on ice. He's having <laughs> fun doing some donuts. Classic copper. Your sirens mean jack shit now, mate. <laughs> oh, fuck me sideways. This just gets better and better. In skates Wayne Gretzky. He looks like he's 
on a collision course with the copper and there it is. <laughs> Enjoy that while you can get away with it. Any other day and you'd be fucking arrested. Wowee, the spectators love it. This guy gives zero fucks about standing in the snow all day. Hey, that was pretty good, dude. I enjoyed that. Guys, this is always go, good. Dude, these are always good. Is this even watchable? It is the series that leaves you with more questions than answers. It's time for another optimistically reluctant journey to the destination we love and hate. That is an elite parking space. At least 20 bucks a day. Speaking Jesus. of parking spaces, this bloke is like, all right, I've parked my boat. Now I'm going to park my forklift. Ah, oh, shit, my boat became unparked. I better stop and repark it. This is good. What is I he going to do? I am in full control and have chosen to park my boat against this wall. Bugger me, the forklift has become unparked. Why won't you machines just stay fucking parked? Especially you, boat. Come back here. I paid a lot for you. You should listen to me when I'm talking to you. I expect this behavior from the forklift. He's a dodgy wanker, but not you. Speak of the devil. Bam! The forklift says, screw you and Jesus. your boat. Let's cross over to some injuries, which will always include skateboarding. Here's a kickflip. There's a delivery man. It's poetic that a courier is involved in giving someone a trip My to God, destination dude. fucked. Winter is coming, which is fine. You just have to stock up on firewood. Ouch. Oh, no. Cheers to Michael for sending me this one. Mountain biking is a fantastic sport, except for when you ride into a tree. That hurts. The only opponent in mountain biking is nature. That's profound when you think about it. The odds of this party trick working out are extremely low and fucked. <laughs> Don't do a big jump. No one's impressed by big jump. I've seen this before, but the way the dude's fall, the dude falls. Party trick working out are look extremely at the, look low at the guy. and <laughs> fucked. Don't do a big jump. No one's impressed by big jumps anymore. Oh, that was impressive. I'm happy it worked that out. Was pretty good. There's something very satisfying about destination almost fucked. That's pretty when good. When you can look back and know you made a good decision, that's genuinely exciting. Going to university is a good decision, unless your graduation gets ruined. Julie Jerkoff. Forgive me, Kirkoff. Oh, you laugh. You all laugh. I can't wait till one of you requires intense <laughs> neurosurgery. Have a look at Grandpa here lighting his firework. The young fellas are like, ah, oh, shit, let's run far away. Grandpa goes up two steps and says, eh, bugger it, this will do. And bang, what a mad bastard. This is a man that has grown comfortable living in destination almost fucked. He's a permanent resident. A firework is a small time threat. Falling asleep at the wheel of your car is dangerous. Falling asleep at the wheel of your forklift, just as dangerous. This looks like Jesus, a factory dude. of concrete blocks. If you're gonna make this mistake at work, you'd at least want to work in a factory of feathers, or pillows, or fucking lacy brassiers. Let's finish on trampolining, because I feel like trampolining is underserved in the Destination yeah, F series. Here's a backflip. Nah, nah. A good level of confidence here does not get her anywhere. <gasps> okay, dude. That's nice. She can laugh at herself. No one laughs at themselves anymore. It's become a pandemic in itself. Here's another roof jump without a trampoline. Oh! Okay, guys. Oh. I don't want any of those anymore. Because is... these are pretty... Yeah, guys. Listen. My ah. birthday yesterday. You know, I get a, a fail here, fail there. Man. No problem, Smile. but Jesus, man. That form, dude. Looks like somebody died. Okay. My God. My dog. Aggressive weather. That's okay. right. Chat, I'm on my foot again. Okay. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not done, but. Glory. She is pissed at the state of the world, and not only will she destroy your house, she'll also confiscate your family trampoline just to be a dick to your kids. Bugger me sideways, that is a solid hailstorm. Do people not check the weather app in the morning? They thought a trip to the beach was a good idea. Jesus, no, 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 dude. No, no. You wankers need a bigger brolly. Use the inflatable mattress as a shield. Surely that would protect you from the golf sized fucking ice cubes pelting down. Budgie smugglers bloke is like, let's use someone else's towel as a shield unless it's made from vibranium i think they're screwed where's grandma oh she's still swimming what a beast inclement weather is not going to ruin her exercise actually there she goes she got out safe why won't any young people help her fucking young people yeah this is captain i'd like to welcome you all to hang on sunny Jesus. Seattle, which is on your left. 
Oh, hey, Timbo, did you lock up the building? I think so. Why? Uh, I'm just checking, because if you do not... Yeah? Oh, no. What? What happens? Hey, the roof blows away. That is a lot of tumbleweeds. I always thought tumbleweeds existed only in John Wayne movies. This is unsettling, seeing them in a big gang. It's like a flock. No, a tangle. A tangle of tumbleweeds. Get out! Get out of there! Okay, we're in the clear. All good. Or are we? <laughs> They're bloody flanking Wait, the car! Is They're that your real? That's crazy! Of war. Things I've learned today. I have an irrational fear of tumbleweeds. Not hard ducklings. This will calm me down. Wait, this video is about aggressive weather. I forgot! No! The winds have sent the little feathered fucks flying. They aren't ready to fly. Mum swoops in to save what? them, trying to round the little bastards up, but she gets fucked in the ass by the wind as well. They're stuck in the maelstrom. I can't watch. I can't. There's no outcome. I'm clicking away. Look at these wankers underestimating the off-road capabilities of their sedan. The driver was like, we can make it through. It's a reliable car. The bloke riding shotgun is trying to let more water in. Old mate in the back takes a swig of beer and calls Uber Eats. Fuck me. I can't think of a worse place to be in a storm than a boat in the middle of the ocean. That's Look crazy. The of these bloody waves. Come on, no regrets. Maximum commitment. Let's go. We're through. Wait, no. There's always more waves. Chat. Yeah, there's could, could the window not break it from the, all, the, all the water We're gonna like, need a much landing on it instantly like that? Wiper. Now, I know at first glance this weather doesn't look aggressive, but you need to keep scale in mind. To a rat floating on a flip-flop, rain this heavy looks like the bloody beach hailstorm. Also, go easy on the little bugger. He just Could watched be. the love of his life drown because there was definitely, absolutely no more space on that thong. Don't argue it. Oi, Angus, you said this would be relaxing. It's just a spot of bad weather. Spot of bad weather. We just nearly got taken out by a flying fucking trampoline. I oh, play through it, mate. Play through. I hit my ball with a putter before and it flew halfway across the English Channel. Fuck this. Okay. I'm going I'm to the chat. pub. No, don't go to the pub. Come on, come back. No. Come on. No. Yes. I am sick of golf. Okay. I'm sick of you, Ian. Chat. Listen. Even if it's just for the day. Joy, your stay. Outside the sun is shining 